Hey YouTubers, it's your girl Shannon from Tesla and Chill, and today's video is probably one of the most exciting videos we've made to date, so I'm super excited to be sharing this news with you. As you know, new year, new me, new vehicle. Yes, we are going to be putting a deposit down in this episode on our new vehicle. Spoiler alert, it is going to be another Tesla. Um, but a quick background first, of course we are in our Model 3 right now, his name is Kanye, and Kanye's wife is Kim, our Honda Accord Hybrid, um, who we really love, and we actually had the Hybrid before we had the Tesla, and it was a really good way to kind of like dip our foot into the electric world. You know, hybrid, it's half gas, half electric. Um, and I think the Hybrid did a really good job, but I think we're ready to convert to be a fully electric family right now. So we are going to get rid of the hybrid eventually and we are going to be putting, like I said, a deposit on a new car today in just a few minutes. But before we do that, mama needs some coffee. So we're at Starbucks right now. So let's do our order and then let's get to putting down our deposit. Okay, so we got our coffee and our hot chocolate and we are ready to go with the ordering. I'm so excited and I'm a little bit nervous, but I have to say the coolest thing about this is that I'm actually ordering our new Tesla while in our Tesla. And I don't know a lot of people who have like bought a car while they're actually in their car. Um, I've seen a few YouTube videos where people have done it, like they've even sat in their car and like ordered their Tesla on their phone, um, but we're doing it right here on our screen. Um, that is like super cool. That's really exciting. I love that we don't have to go to a dealership. I can do it literally in the comfort of my own car. Um, now let's stop talking and let's get to the actual buying process, um, but before we do, I do want to say we did a video giveaway like a few videos ago um, and it was for a console cover for a car um, if you have a model 3 or know someone who has a model 3 and you'd like to give it to them as a gift our last winner never contacted us back so that is back up for grabs so if you want to win a console cover by ev wraps all you have to do is two things first go to our instagram right here tesla and chill and then two just drop us a comment on our latest picture so if you already follow us just drop us a comment that's all you have to do follow then comment and then we'll simply send you a dm back uh, with further instructions on how we can get you the console wrap okay so now let's talk about the new car like i said before we are buying a new tesla but which one are we gonna buy the options are a lot <laughs> so we talked about actually going down the line of each one and this was kind of our reasoning so I'll kind of tell you our thoughts now we talked about the Model S um, it's really nice we know a few people who have a Model S and it's really roomy a lot roomier than the Model 3 but we're thinking as J3 grows up we might want something a little bit bigger um, and maybe even something a little bit higher off the ground so it was a really good option but ultimately we decided against it now our next option of course is the model 3 which we have a model 3 right now and we absolutely love it it's actually turned into more of our travel car and everyday car um, if we go on long trips we definitely use the model 3 over our honda hybrid accord which you can see sitting right there um, which is the car we're getting rid of so i kind of feel bad buying a car in front of her um, but anyways <laughs> so we thought we thought about a model 3 but we're actually not going to go with that because two model 3s is a little redundant and again we want something a little bit bigger and the next option of course was the model x and if you've seen any of my previous videos you probably know that i've talked about how much i love a model x and probably my dream car would be a model x in red with a white interior and a carbon fiber trim i think that would be so sexy but i think right now the current price point is a little bit too high for us i mean if you think about it really like buying a model x is like buying half of a house in some states um, so I think the only way I could really justify buying a Model X would be if we all moved into it and lived inside of it, and we're not doing that. <laughs> so the Model X is out. Um, of course, a Roadster, that's not going to happen. That's a two-seater. And of course, the Model Y, let's take a look at that beauty in a second. 
Let's try it again. Okay, there we go. So the Model Y, um, it is bigger than the Model 3. I mean, it's based off a of Model 3, but it is a little bit bigger. Um, and it looks really nice. I mean, it's pretty beautiful. Um, I like that red color. There we go. Um, I mean, it's super safe, like all Teslas are, um, but we did decide against the Model Y also, um, just because we do want something that's going to be even larger than that. So we are buying the Cybertruck, and I'm super excited about this. Um, I think it is crazy the way it looks. I mean, just look at this. It looks like a tank mixed with an origami, mixed with an airplane, all of those angles, that stainless steel. Let's just run through these photos real quickly because they are so beautiful. Um, I think this is really a good option for us when you look at the size of it. We used to have an F-150 Platinum, like you guys have probably heard, um, and we loved the space that was in there. It had plenty of cargo room, plenty of room for people, even like full-size adults could sit in the back row, like three people could sit back there, no problem. So I think that's going to be super good as J3 gets older. We can definitely utilize all of the space. And right back here, they have that retractable part, so we can definitely use that for luggage and storage. Um, I think they even have like the little tent that you can attach there, so you can even use it to go camping. Um, so I think we could ultimately really like get into camping and then that'll save us money because when we travel, we won't stay at hotels. So it's kind of like you gotta spend money to save money. I think. <laughs> um, but let's look even further. The exoskeleton, it's ultra hard, 30 times cold rolled stainless steel. Say cold rolled five times fast. <laughs> um, that seems like super safe, so I think that's definitely good for our son because we definitely want safety to be a priority. And really, just look at that thing. Can you imagine driving down the freeway next to that? Honestly, we like looking different. We like when people look twice at us. I'll be honest, I like the attention. So I think this looks super awesome. Um, and look at that back there. That's gonna be able to fit a ton of stuff. Um, again, you can even like camp back there and sleep back there. Super versatile. Um, let's see if there's any more photos here. I don't know, that just looks so cool. So I'm super excited. Let's get to buying it because just watching these pictures um, and these pictures are getting me excited. So right here, we are gonna hit order now because we're ordering our Tesla in a Tesla, which is so cool. Now let's get to the details. Once you get to the order now page, you have three options. So you have the single motor real, rear wheel drive, which starts at 39.9. We have the dual motor all wheel drive, which starts at 49.9 and then the tri-motor all-wheel drive, which starts at 69.9. Now, let me go over the reasoning of what we are gonna choose here. So, single motor, rear wheel drive. I think, honestly, if you're getting a truck, it needs to be at least all-wheel drive, so the single motor is out. So that leaves us with the dual motor option and the tri-motor option. Now, look at the details of the dual motor all-wheel drive. It has an EPA estimate of 300 miles and a towing capacity of 10,000 pounds. And I think, honestly, that sounds really good. We could probably handle that um, and be happy with that kind of cyber truck um, without a problem, really, I think. I mean, honestly, it kind of fits our criteria of what we're looking for, but let's be real. What we really want is something a little bit more because once you stack down your car with like stuff in the back and people, you're probably gonna get less than 300 miles of range. Now the tri-motor on the other hand, that's gonna get you an EPA estimate of 500 miles and a towing capacity of 14,000 pounds. And let's not forget zero to 60 in under three seconds crazy but what i really want to focus on is the 500 mile range because that is probably like what num that's probably one of the number one selling points on this vehicle to us um i think this car is probably going to become more of our travel vehicle now so we definitely want something with a whole lot of range so we are going to go for the tri-motor of course we need the full self-driving to be added because why would you get a tesla without full self-driving that would be silly 
So let's also continue here. We've got the tri-motor, we've got the full self-driving added. Now due today is $100 and oops, let's read this fine print. It's fully refundable. You'll be able to complete your configuration as production nears in late 2021. The tri-motor all-wheel drive production is expected in late 2021. So we're really looking at almost two years for this car to be completed. Um, but, I mean, I think that's probably worth the, worth the wait. I mean, it's fully refundable. It's only $100. I think it's time that we buy it now. So let's hit the buy now button. <laughs> okay, so now first up, let's give Tesla my information. Let's see, my name. Oh wait, that's not my legal name. <laughs> okay. go and then as we progress I'm probably gonna blur some of this out so you guys can't see my credit card info because I don't need any charges aside from this <laughs> all right that's it it says by clicking place order I agree to Cybertruck pre-order agreements blah 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 place order ah. oh this is so exciting your order is complete. Okay, I like the little owl, that's super cute. Explore Cybertruck. Ah. Okay, so it takes us back to the screen we already saw. Okay, I have to say that was a little bit of a letdown. I was hoping to see some fireworks or something. But anyways, we just bought a Cybertruck. That is super exciting. I'm so looking forward to getting this. I mean, it is beautiful. I think as we get closer to production, we'll be able to have like color choices for the exterior and interior. And really that's what I'm most excited about is choosing the colors. Hopefully we'll have maybe like some different wheel options and things like that. But that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Um, I can't believe like I just bought a car in a car. I think that's super cool. Well, I guess I just bought a truck in a car. <laughs> um, but I'm super looking forward to this. I hate that we'll have to wait so long before we actually get it. But I think good things come to those who wait. So that is all we've got for today. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.